this is the big, this is how we start off our show, okay? We start off on the left side, and we go. Hoddle, 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 save, 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 build a, build a, build a, sound money, sound money. Okay, this is Ugly Old Goat, and it's been a while, but here I'm back. It's the first of the year, and I have uh, an article that I'll do a read-through, and it's basically a teaching course on how to hedge in backwardization. And backwardization is a bullish indicator. Now, uh, Bitcoin entered backwardization last June. And this, uh, in other articles, I've outlined why Bitcoin is fundamentally bullish and, and Contango is fundamental, fundamentally bearish. But both of them suck as a timing indicator. And here are the article, here's this article that way back in 2019. This drew a lot of attention because a lot of people weren't aware of this. Uh, but if you're not aware of, of contango and backwardization, it's the difference between the futures and the spot market. And that's known as basis. And when the futures market uh, is under the spot market, then that's known as backwardization. And when the futures markets are over the spot market, that's known as contango. Uh, now, nor in a normal market, it should be in somewhat of a contango because there's carrying costs and storage costs uh, for Bitcoin. It's kind of like gold and silver. Uh, uh, but Bitcoin does go into backwardization quite regularly, particularly when things get real bearish. Uh, and it, it is a very bullish because it means that uh, people uh, can buy futures uh, rather than the cash market, uh, and defer the, the payment until uh, 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 you know until that futures expires, and it's a way that you can lo actually lock in a, a price for Bitcoin below the market, and you don't even have to pay it uh, right away. Now, it's not a good timing indicator. It really sucks, and the reason it sucks is because. Uh, during a bull market, uh, the, the market can flash crash and go into a uh, backwardization just for an instant, just for a minute, and clean out all the stops, and then it comes right back up. Uh, and this, that can ha happen for a minute. It can last for hours. Uh, back in March 2020, when we had the COVID bottom, there was a large hedge fund that was overextended and had to blow out of the market. And that occurred during that COVID bottom. And at the time, uh, the market was, uh, was only about $5,000, but the futures were $1,000 under spot. You could buy futures for $4,000 while the market was trading at $5,000, which was just an incredible deal. Now, that only lasted about 30 minutes. Uh, and even then, it was it it spiked down there a couple times. I was very fortunate to catch that bottom, and that bottom was was uh, started in the foundation for me to turn five thousand dollars into a million seven hundred that year. It was a, an incredible trading year, and it all started uh, because I was lucky enough to catch that flash crash. Now it can last uh, for months. Uh, uh, and it, that happened uh, like like we this this backwardization has gone on for six months. Uh, we had a similar time. It wasn't quite as long, but it went about a two or three month backwardization back in December. Jan I think it was November, December, January of 2016 and 17. Uh, <clears throat> and the there were no futures then. Uh, except on some uh, some Chinese exchanges. And people were very bearish, and they looked at those futures, and they thought, oh, the market's going to go down because look at the futures, they're lower, not realizing that's really a bullish indicator and not a bearish indicator. It's, it's a hard concept to understand, but fundamentally it is very bullish. Uh, and it is a uh, uh, blessing to us hollers, for us speculators, for those of us who believe in Bitcoin and are trying to accumulate Bitcoin, but it is really a curse for uh, uh, miners and anybody that needs to hedge their position because 
they may as well sell now because they're going to sell at a discount uh, uh, if they try and, and hedge in the future. They, they want to have a premium in the future so they can uh, sell at a higher rate their future production. And uh, again, it, just because it goes into backwardization, uh, it doesn't mean it will stay there. Uh, and it also doesn't mean it can't go deeper into backwardization. So it is, it, it's a terrible, terrible timing mechanism. Now, I'm working on another article, and, and I'll be covering that next. But this is, article is simply to show you how you can use a market like this uh, to uh, lock in your, your, your hollow price. Because, you know, I, for one, do not think Bitcoin is going to be uh, under... Uh, uh, $20,000 in six months. Uh, it certainly won't be under, you know, 17000 and it'll probably be sharply higher than what it is now. So how do, can you lock in these purchases? You know, if you're on a way, you're buying $500 every month, uh, how can you lock in that price? Well, one way you can do it is just buy the futures market, uh, you know, have it well margins so that you know if the market breaks down and it doesn't happen to go up from here you're, you're covered so you want to have you know maybe a two to one three to one margin on that and then you can buy your future purchases and you'll be locking in your price and we'll show you how that works now contango is the reverse uh of backwardization and the same thing, if, if the market goes into contango, it does not mean it's going to stay there. Uh, it can stay, but it's a more normal state. Normally, it does stay there, and that's the, the usual thing. Now, contango can, can get way out of line. And, for example, back there when we topped out in 2017, uh, you could sell futures markets. The, the spot market never got... I don't think it went above twenty thousand. Went anyway. You could sell the futures markets for two to three thousand uh, dollars higher than you could the spot market. Okay. Now with Contango, the reverse is true. And just because the market goes into Contango does not mean it's going to stay there. Uh, you know, but but it is kind kind of the normal thing. Contango is much more normal than backwardization because there are carrying costs uh, to uh, and storage risk that you take uh, uh, that is built into the market. So just like if you buy gold or silver on a futures, you usually pay a premium for it. You're going to do the same for Bitcoin. This is the normal way the market works. But just because a market is in contango does not mean it can't go wider in contango. In fact, we did this back in 2016 and 17 uh, at the top when the market topped out there at 20,000. The futures were trading about uh, two to three thousand dollars higher than the spot. So it was a great time for miners to to hedge part of their production to lock in their profits. Now. The basis then is just simply a reflection of the market settlement. It's, it's how people are thinking. It's their mood. Uh, and it's usually short-lived, but it can feed upon itself. And so it can go deeper or it can go wider uh, for months. Now, nevertheless, backwardization is a fundamental bullish indicator. And contango is a fundamental bearish indicator because it's Futures approach settlement in the spot, the backwardization or contango, it will always disappear. The futures will always meet to spot or spot will always go to the futures. At the expiration date, they meet. That is the nature of the market. That's mathematically the way it's always going to work. So basis is simply a measure of settlement. And just as contango is a godsend for miners and a curse for speculators, Backwardization is a curse for miners and a godsend for speculators. Now, that said, I will argue here that both backwardization and contango <clears throat> are a blessing for hodlers. Okay, now hopefully you're all hodlers. Hopefully you've been do dollar cost averaging and you may have a large hodl, you may have a small hodl. That's up to you. I don't know your, your financial situation. Everybody's at a different level. 
and depending upon your age and your income and all that. But it's crucial that as a hodler that you learn this and you use this basis as a tool uh, for your trading strategy. And again, as a hodler, I preach dollar cost averaging. That's been consistent through my uh, uh, all of my writings. Uh, I, I actually preach about it. I sing about it. Uh, I started out with build a, build a, build a, you know, s save, 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 hollow, 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 save, 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 build a, build a, build a, build a. And that means we don't just hold, but we reward ourselves. We build our wealth and we replace our hollow. We will spend our hollow and then we replace it. And here's my little song. You can, it's fun, but we're not going to do that now by Roger 9000. He did a great job on that. And in previous out, out articles, I have outlined how to hedge your markets in contango. This article is how to hedge your hodl in backwardization, which is really a great opportunity. Okay, in September 21, I warned that the fundamental weakness in Bitcoin uh, is that the exchanges are acting as banks and the crew and the creation of shit coins, uh, pretending, uh, uh, pretending printing money is real wealth creation. Well, printing money, of course, is not real wealth uh, creation. And also, I warned about the legacy participation. We had all we had. Of course, Michael Saylor got into the market, which is fine, but uh, everybody was real bullish because, oh, now all these other corporations are going to get in the, in the marketplace. And we had the legal tender uh, declaration, and, oh, that was so bullish. And I warned everybody, uh, I did not consider any of these things bullish. I considered it quite bearish. And the reasons for that is, uh, is in the articles. You can read them there. And then I also provided a cautionary warner, warning for Bitcoiners because a lot of these guys were promoting, yeah, you borrow against your Bitcoin and you can just live off of the proceeds. And I wrote this article back in January, How to Lose Your HODL in One Easy Lesson. Now, I didn't want to be right, but r reality was at the door. And now those who are anticipating that Bitcoin was going to go to 200,000 when it was 60,000, uh, are they're, they're worried that it's going to go to 5,000. Well, I'm not worried. It's not going to 5,000. Uh, the most I saw is maybe briefly going below 15,000, but that's looking pretty unlikely now, although it's still possible. Now, the analysis I updated again in October, and, and I recommended, just as I said, it was not the time to be, be uh, you know, especially borrowing against your Bitcoin, uh, it was, I, I deeply suspected that the market was going to break down. And of course it did. But now uh, it's quite the opposite. And the thing that's telling us that it's time to buy is this backwardization. If you started buying in June, you bought for 17000 16000 uh, you know, and you've created a nice little hodl. So uh, how can we use this? Uh, how do we hedge our hodl during backwardization? Well, if you're dollar cost averaging, how, I mean, you want to keep being able to buy down here at 16 or 17 or 18,000, wherever it's at, you know, when you watch this. But how can you do that? Well, the one way you can do it is just buy it on the futures uh, because that way you, you have future income coming and you just can buy. Let's say if you're doing uh, 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 $1,000 a month, you can buy $1,000 with on a futures contract, uh, you know, uh, uh, or $3,000 in March. That would be three months. That would be for January, February, March. And then you could do another $3,000 for uh April, May, and June on the June futures, and you actually have a September futures. And so you could do a September futures for July, August, and September. And uh, so hopefully you figured it out by now. It's really quite intuitive. When the market is in backwardization, you can buy future purchases you plan to make between now and March, between March and June, and between June and, Septem and, and, Sep and September at or below spot. Now, again, backwardization is a godsend for hodlers to lock in distressed Bitcoin through September 21st. 
2023. So this is a great strategy. I practice what I preach, so here I did. You can see that I bought uh, every month there, I bought some Bitcoin, I'm holding on to it. Now this, this date was, uh, I don't know what date this was, but anyway, you can see when I put it on. And I've increased my holding since then, but uh, that's how you do it. I hope you uh, like this article. If you do, give it a few claps. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, hey, if you want to follow me, I am on Twitter. It's Ugly Old Goat One. Uh, we uh, also want to refer you to our Bitcoin Start Kit, and there's a picture of it. You're gonna get. We call it a start kit. We actually have a nice little bag that it comes in. We're going to give you uh, my two books. My first book is How to Put Yourself on the Bitcoin Standard in One Easy Lesson. Now, this is a, a little bit technical. I, I've been in the sound money mood for a long time. So I go back to some of the things I was doing 40 years ago and kind of outline what sound money is and why I'm so persuaded that Bitcoin is is even better than gold. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon, but I charge like $130. So we have a special package. You can get this hardback book. It'll be signed by me. It's a true NFT. You'll get some of my little, uh, we're, we're experimenting locally here with our own little uh, uh, vouchers. And uh, you'll also get my second book, which I wrote this year. It's called Equity Trading. And I think most of you would be interested in that. Again, uh, this is a hardback. It's fully il illustrated. And uh, both of these will be personally signed. Uh, if you get the Bitcoin Start Kit, you'll also get the uh, ebook edition, so you can hit all the links. But that's not all. We're going to give you a trip to that bag. We're going to get you a, a Jade Hard Wallet, so you can safely keep your Bitcoin. Uh, we're going to give you... Uh, uh, the Little Bitcoin Book. Now, this is written by Jimmy Song and his uh, friends. And it's just a great basic uh, book. Now, this is available in Spanish or English. So we have a Spanish uh, kit and an English one. You can order either one. We have a little kid's book on Bitcoin money or Bitcoin dinero. This is also in Spanish. Uh, the other books are on in, in, in English only. Uh, but those two are in Spanish. If you want the Spanish edition, please uh, indicate that. We're going to give you Kurt Svelhelm's book on sovereignty through mathematics and also kind of the, the Bible of Bitcoin, and that's Safety Namus book on the Bitcoin standard, which is a classic. You pro probably, I hope you already have this, but it's our gift to you. Again, we're going to, for $195, we're going to give you both of my hardback books, all the ebooks. We're going to send you all these other books in the bag, and you'll get something else, a little spiff like this hat or something uh, in on the package. So if you want to support my work, that's the way to do it. We're going to also be starting some new things, and anybody that buys this package will be eligible for that. Um, and that's to be announced. We're working on it now. But thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed uh, uh, my outlook for 2023. Uh, again, it's a great time to be buying Bitcoin. Uh, whoever thought last year that we'd be under 20,000, not too many. And uh, here it is. Uh, use that opportunity to uh, uh, hodl, hodl, hodl. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. <laughs>